are on the wheel. They are on the wheel. Uh, uh. Do not move. Get out of the car. Sorry, I need you to stop right there. Dude, stop. Uh. Get your hands up. Uh. We over here right, on 436. So, hey, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't please, please, me. please, please. Get on the truck. Welcome to another episode of Switch, where we switch the roles of law enforcement and civilians. Dang, bro, did I already get my show oh, you are, Hey, you in my city. Oh, he already take it over. Take over. Let's go. Switch. They going our head a day, yeah. Man, how many times have you seen these First Amendment Auditor videos, bro? Too many times, and it's the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Ooh, hey, well, guess what? We get to go ahead and switch those roles today. Oh, let's do it, man. Let's, let's do it, man. <laughs> uh, today, I'm hoping to get a better understanding of what it's like to be an officer in the field. You know, whenever you're boots on the ground face to face with people, what that's like in dealing with stressful situations, how that affects your reaction times, how that's changing, you know, whenever you're training, you know, how that translates in the real world. Yeah, so I was in the military for six years. It's kind of a different feeling or a different scenario though whenever you're dealing with learning to be in the military and whenever you're dealing with combat scenarios versus working on civilian and civilian scenarios you know and training as military personnel and so forth like we're going in with a mission you know we're, we're moving towards a goal whereas with police officers you're more working as a reactionary type force and I mean, in reality, looking at at least 99% of the scenarios that police officers are dealing with is they're dealing with relatively peaceful civilians. You know, they're not dealing in a combat type situation. You know, it's not coming down to, to deadly force uh, and trying to learn and understand like, okay, where is that line? Where does it transfer into deadly force? All right, Key, so this is what you got, man. You just conducted a traffic stop, just another day in, in, in the neighborhood. Uh, you pull this person over for a vehicle code violation, you make your approach, and all you're going to do is handle the situation like you would a traffic stop. So you just talk to them, have dialogue with them, and then take the scenario from there. You got it? Cool. Any questions? Nope. Hey, how are you doing today? Can I see your hands on the steering wheel, please? Thank you, sir. How's your day going? Good, how about you? Good, good. Tell me, uh, uh, pulled you over for a broken taillight. Uh, oh. Can I get your license of registration? Yeah, it's over here. Can I reach for it? Yep, go ahead. Hey, sir, can I have you stand? Hey, this is Jay Live yeah. here watching the pigs pull people over. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. They got nothing to do but to mess with people of color. Well, we're here, Excuse my me, man. sir. Yep. I'm going to need you to back up. Yep. I'm going to need Only you to back up. Hey, can, you can we get, back can we get your over? Uh, can we get your ID number? I'm happy to talk with you. Can, can, can we get your ID here. number, please? I'm sorry, I need nope. you guys to back up. No, hey, make sure you guys are getting it. Yep. Can, can we get your hey, ID? Hey, sir, are hey, you fellas? okay? Hey, hey, are you okay? Hey, are you okay, hey, driver? Hey, sir, I'm going to need you to stay in the vehicle. Hey, are you okay, driver? i got to go to work, man. What's taking so long? Driver, I'm sorry, I'm going to okay? need you to stay in the vehicle. Hey, hey, are you okay, driver? Hey, I'm going to need you to stay in the vehicle. Hey, sir, gotta, I'm hey, sorry, I'm going to need you. We're not even doing nothing. He has his rights. He has his rights. You should. You have no right to pull him over. Sir, I, I'll record for you. All right. Sir, can I, you stand over here for me, please? Sir, you have, you have his number. I know right. it's your right, but I have What's the right to maintain my please? safety. Can you tell us your badge number, please? I'm happy to give you my badge number. I'm happy to communicate with you after I hey, deal with okay, this sir, gentleman. Why don't you just go ahead and drive away? Sir, I need you to why, get in the vehicle right now. I just need to know how long it's going to take. Right? Get in the vehicle. I, I will be happy to help you as soon as I can. Please get in the vehicle, and I'll help you afterwards. Hey, you gentlemen, I need away, you to bro. stay up over here where I can why see you. Why, why are you getting so aggressive with him? Hey, gentlemen, I'm, I'm trying to help people. I'm trying why to you, keep... Wait, no, why do you have your, your hand on your gun? We all have our rights. We all have our rights. We are right, hands up, hands up. Hey, don't, hey hands don't up, come over me. here. Don't touch me. Come over here, I need to get back to my vehicle. I need to run a stop. Man, hey bro, just get in your car and just leave. Can Please get in your car up. Can I, can I get my license back? Uh, I will after I take it back hey, to my car. You're a new guy, huh? No, no, yeah. I'm not. Man. Sir, I need you to sit back in the vehicle. I will be back I just in just a moment. How long is it going to take, man? Uh, uh, hopefully well, as fast hey, as possible. Hey, you don't, you don't have to answer any questions from him. Hey, hey, you don't have to answer any questions from him. Why do you have your hand on your gun, officer? Why are you so aggressive? He's not even doing anything. All the way in the vehicle, go ahead and close the door for me. All right, cool. Can you turn the vehicle off, please? Cool. All right. Thank you. I'll be back with your license and registration in a moment. Sir, I over.
Can you put your hands on the wheel, sir? Do you know why I pulled you over today? I do not. All right, can I get your license and registration, We got these please? pigs I always, always in the hood trying to pull somebody box? over huh? for no reason. No. Look at that. Look, he holding his gun. Why you got your hand on your gun, bro? It's okay. It's Why all right, sir. Why you got your hand on your We're gun, good, though? Sir. Uh, Why you, no, make, make sure you keep no. his hand on the wheel Look for a minute. Go ahead and get, get your deal out. He got his hand all over his gun. He got his hand all over his gun. We're good, sir. Look, thank you. Hey, bro, you ain't, hey, you ain't you got to give no ID. Can you step away, hey, no, sir? Don't put step your hands away, on sir. me, bro. Step away, sir. Don't put Excuse your hands me, on me, bro. All right, Look, I got him on IG. We got him all on IG right here. Look, officer, what's your name, officer? You got a broken tail light. Officer, what's your name, bro? So you know you're not. Hey, step away. Step away, sir. Step away. Can you make sure? I ain't even do nothing. Keep your eyes on me. Keep your hands on the wheel at all times. Thank you. We over here on 43rd. I appreciate that. Thank you. We over here on 43rd and 6th. All right, so the reason why I pulled you over is broken tail light. I want to make sure that. You understand look, it's just because he's black. We got to make sure that we just have everything. Just because he's black. Going. Great. Okay. Look, you have any I always questions? trying to mess with our brothers. Look. Okay. He got hey, his hand on his is, gun. Understand. Who hey, you sir? gonna shoot, bro? Nobody. Who We're you just gonna making, shoot, bro? Hey, step away, sir. Hey, look step at him. Away. He must be a rookie. Step away. Step away. He must be yep, a rookie. Look at that rookie. He's shaking. All right. I just want to make sure that I'm a rookie. Look, man. To make sure that they ain't training him right. Yep. They ain't training him right. He all got his hand on the trigger. He got his hand on. He's trying to join Spoil at somebody over. Here. You got any weapons? Look at Joe. Look, he tried to, he tried to turn him into Joe. Uh, Philando Castillo. I hear you. I, Just you look I need at him, man. My question, sir. Do you I can't have believe any these, these laws out here acting like not. this. Do you look, have bro. Anything, any, listen, any narcotics don't listen to him, man. He, he ain't got away. no right. Step away, please. He ain't got no right now, bro. Don't touch me. He ain't got no right. I need my bubble space. To be doing this. I know they got a lot of He ain't got no right to be doing this, bro. Just drive off. Don't tell nothing, bro. Just drive off. Don't what, listen uh, to him. Hit the get drive out, bro. Okay, uh, yes, I'm gonna give you a ticket, sir. Just come on, go on straight through the ticket. Go on for, straight. For having your, uh, for having your broken cop, light man. and everything else. You, Look at this cop, man. You don't have any, any weapons or anything on you. It's a tough scenario, like especially like whenever you're in like a confined space like this, like you're trying to deal with multiple people at one time. Again, not knowing like the full basis of the scenario. It's like, did this person plan to be pulled over in this area? Like, do these people are they like in on it type of a thing? So it's like. It's a nerve wracking situation and you're trying to deal with multiple people at once. You can't see everybody's hands at once. They're trying to move around and trying to be able to see like, like keep trying to back up to be able to see all three people at once. Like it's just a difficult scenario to kind of deal with. You see it a lot. It's very disappointing, disheartening because most of the time the people who are going and doing a little audit, they don't have respect for police officers. So they're not giving them distance and they are escalating situations further than what the situations really is. Because the way you were walking up to the car, it seemed like you could have had a, a, a decent conversation with this individual. But then you have the other agitators come up and now they, they have exacerbated the situation a little bit. Now your, your sense of urgency is higher. They're trying to coach him into doing things that are probably not uh, you know, aligned with the law. And so I've, I've noticed that they're a lot more counterproductive than they are efficient in actually helping the person out. Um, and, and my recommendation to people that do that is to just stand off to the side, give the police officer some distance so you don't get the gentleman in the car in trouble and you don't get yourself um, in a conflict. Man, I think uh, it was definitely intense. I think uh, as a cop, if you're out there in the field, especially by yourself and you got other, other members of the crowd that are coming around trying to videotape everything, uh, that it could be easily distracted from what you're what you're there to do and why you made that traffic stop. I think that's the biggest thing about it, where it can change in an instant, a quick second. Brandon, you you break these videos down all the time, bro. You now the agitator. Oh yeah, it was fun, man. I gotta <laughs> say that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Maybe that's why they do it. <laughs> I, I'll tell you this, man. And obviously, you don't have law enforcement experience like that. Yeah. But I mean, they. I was way too close to you. Hundred percent. I came up. Y'all touching me, man. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, kind of bumping into you. You know, you don't know what you don't know what, what I'm doing behind you. Right. I might get mad because you're not responding like I want. I hit you in the back of the head or something. Yeah. And so I, you know, it, it's very challenging to do that, but you always got to watch out. Yeah. We we told our we instructed our role players like if they if you allow them to, they're gonna walk up on you. Yeah. So what I would have done is I would have tried to the moment I saw y'all walking up. I would have said, hey, no, you guys need to stay back over there and start to create some space. Yeah. Because you allow them to get yeah, into that space. Good. And once they ate that space up, they never gave it back to you. Like the other part is again, trying to en engage with both people. And like, you're trying to take care of a business as an officer. And then all of a sudden there's agitators that are making things worse. And it's like, hey, I'm happy to talk with you. Like I kept trying to say, but they're trying to be argumentative and so forth. And it's like, you can't do your job. What officers have to use is what they call officer presence. So if you had to take a yep. step back and say, look, get back, 
now yeah. or, or you're going to jail. Right. You're interfering with my investigation. Get back now. Yeah. You know, you gave a very firm statement and it's like, okay, this all same plan. Yeah. But bro, with, 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 and I know yeah. you're not a cop, but 100%. doing it like that is kind of like, I would have stopped if you would have like really push turned to me and say, look, man, you need to back up now. You, you, yeah. You're going to go to jail if I have to tell you again. Then a person right. may be having to consider, well, I don't want to go to jail and this cop ain't playing. Right. He not a pushover. He not a yeah. rookie. Yeah, you know, so hundred percent. And that's what y'all heard. You kept saying, "Oh, he must be a rookie." Yeah. He must be a rookie. And they're trying to, we're trying to bait you. We're trying to get yeah. you into something. We're trying yeah. to get you to you, no lose doubt. your lose yeah. your yeah. composure, right? We want to right? fly off the handle and be like, "No, man, everybody get back. Pull your yeah. gun out and do all yeah, that." Yeah, right. And then, yeah. then we got you on camera, and now we going now, viral. Now, yep. So I think, I think a positive that I see in what you did is that that you didn't lose your composure at all. Like you, you kind of stepped there. You, you did shoot me off. I wanted to see more there, but at least you didn't pull a gun out. Put it in his face. Yeah. Put it in, aiming at these people. Shoot one of us. Right. You know um, that's what they want you to do. Switch.